Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to use the open layer landscape material with the voxel plugin. So here uh, you can see we can have the basic uh, raw materials as well as we can have triplanar mapping for these kind of weird shapes. Basically with voxel plugin you can create a very interesting shape like this. So in this case uh, you can use the triplanar mapping as well as you can have the all the manual paint layers as well as texture variation support uh, and tint variation. I'm going to show you how to do all these things in this tutorial. Right. Uh, so let's get started with a fresh map. Before we begin we need to get open land into your project and check the description below on how to get that. Also, you need to install a Voxel plugin in your engine. Here I'm using the Voxel plugin pre version, but uh, I think it's the same for the Voxel plugin pro version as well with some additional features. First, I need some sort of sky system. I'm going to go to Open Land Blueprints, and here we have a, something called Sun Sky. So it will add a simple sky and sun setup. Yeah, uh, looks good. And then I'm going to go to Select Mode, Voxels. Yes. And then I'm going to hit Add Voxel World. Right now we have a simple uh, yeah voxel world. I'm gonna sculpt a little bit. So yeah, I can have something over here so I can apply a material. That's why I'm doing a little bit of sculpting like this. And I'm not a really good sculptor, so bear with me. Right now I think this is good. And then I'm gonna hit Alt P. Then it will mask me to uh, save everything. Okay. And then here's the user right something weird happens with the collision system i'm gonna restart my level okay yeah now everything is good so in that case if something weird happens try to restart your level and yeah that's the uh, yeah that works all the time right now we have something like this and then now let's try to add open land landscape material into this voxel world in order to use our landscape material we need to create something called voxel landscape material collection so you can uh, go to any place in your content directory right click voxel and here we have something called voxel landscape material collection hit that and give it a name you like i try to give it a name like vox open land then i'm gonna open this and here i can set my material here i'm gonna use the open lands default theme material mi underscore open land and here we have something called mi open land theme default and uh, this is what you need to do then it will ask me to fix something right then it will go through the open land landscape material and fix something all right i'm gonna hit save and i'm gonna close this and then i'm going to my voxel world go to the details panel and here i'm gonna search for the material okay it's over here and here we have something called material config and set that to multi index and then uh, here we have the material collection i'm going to drag this newly created uh, box open land material collection put it over here right now you can see we have a uh, we have auto material applied over here and then i can do a little bit of sculpting right now you can see auto material is working as expected right now let's try to paint some sand uh, area somewhere over here in order to do that i need to go to the voxel uh, mode again and here select your surface uh, from the, the this tool menu and here uh, I'm gonna uncheck the sculpting and then I'm gonna hit the paint section so I can set the paint strength uh, here I'm not gonna touch it right now and then I can select my landscape layer over here and I can hit this drop down and I can uh, search for sand and that's the layer that I'm interested in but it's really hard to like find over here because there are so many items over here because I know it's this sand uh, that I want to use but in in some case if you if you're gonna find this and here's the way to do that and open your box open land the landscape material collection that you created and here we have something called layers in open land we have a lot of layers and here i can uh, click here and select the layer you want and i know here um, I'm, I'm looking at the index eight so that's the sand layer so that's the number that you need to look for and then i can apply the number eight over here on my channel so now i get the sand now i can paint it uh, any way i like right now i have some sand area over here right uh, looks good then i then i go to select mode again and uh, let's play this level all right that's how you add some custom paint layers into your voxel landscape 
right now let's try to change some textures i have downloaded some of the textures from mega scan so let's try to change the uh, ground layer in order to do that i need to open my material instance and so in order to do that you can open your box open land material collection and here we have the material instance right i'm gonna dock it over into my main uh, area so here i can search for ground so that's the uh, layer that i'm gonna change over here and i'm gonna use some of the textures comes with mega scan so i have downloaded some textures from the mega scans so i'm gonna use this canyon rocky here texture but unfortunately here we have the pack texture in uh, Unreal engine 5 uh, so in order to use that with open land we need to extract this into the roughness and displacement map and here's how to do that i'm going to use it in a different content browser over here i go to content open land widgets here we have a simple tool to extract those things and here right click on this open land ord unpacker run editor utility widget right then hit this unpack all ord textures and sometimes it will create this kind of black textures just for the first time simply select those uh, textures and delete them and hit this button again right now you have the actual textures displacement map and the roughness map all right i'm gonna close this widget now we can use these uh, textures on my landscape right i'm gonna drag some of the textures for my ground layer here mega scans surfaces canyon rocky yeah this one this is my diffuse texture uh, with the underscore d uh, post picks i'm gonna drag that into the first slot and this is my normals and this is the roughness yeah this one and here we need to put the height map or the displacement map as well so this will be useful for using uh, texture variation support and other things so that's why we put the uh, height map even though we are not uh, technically using a height map in this project right then i'm gonna hit save right now you can see our yeah our landscape is appeared with this mega sand texture i can get my material instance over here so then i can uh, yeah change these things yeah side by side and you can see we have applied some texture variation by default for the ground layer so if you scroll on your ground layer on this material instance and you can see some texture variation support i have already added some offset zero and some randomness if you don't have those things you can clearly see some texture repetitions over here so that's why we do a little bit of offsetting of these textures and also add some random rotation yeah in that case it will uh, yeah get rid of the all the uh, texture repetitions and it looks really nice and also likewise you can have a lot of uh, options over here you can go through them and try to see yeah everything here with open land we have a very interesting tool called mega scan texture selector i can uh, go to this open land widgets yeah mega scan texture selector widget i can run that uh, widget and then you can easily uh, select texture layers from here and change the yeah texture like this but unfortunately uh, with the voxel plugin this is not yet working as the time of this recording i'm currently working on a fix for this i hope we can see this uh, tool this widget is working uh, in some time in the future and if if we have this and it's everything is super simple yeah you have sliders for everything and uh, it's, it's super clean right and the another interesting aspect of the voxel plugin is you can create some abstract shapes uh, so i can go to the voxel mode again then i can hit the spear brush so then i can do sculpting like this right so this is quite interesting uh, so it's, it's it's definitely not a height field and that's why you can see weird uh, yeah it doesn't work with the uh, simple auto materials in this case we can use a tri plane mapping for this uh, surface so i'm gonna do something interesting over here i'm gonna paint this section with the custom to paint layer in in open land so then I, i'm gonna enable the tri plane mapping on that layer so here's how to do that so first i'm gonna go to my unlit mode so i can clearly see uh, this yeah this uh, this section and then go to the voxel mode right then i'm gonna paint this with the custom uh, to uh, the paint layer so i know it's number 20 because i know it's uh, custom 2 but of course in this case you can simply search for custom 2 then i go to my uh, surface brush and make sure you only select the uh, paint checkbox not the sculpt on 
then I'm gonna paint it over my this uh, newly created landscape right then it will look something like this and of course I'm gonna show you how to change this quite soon right yeah, this will take some time okay now I have something like this still you can see some stretch uh, marks in these textures that's totally fine so I'm gonna again here close the voxel mode so I can uh, focus on texturing and here I'm gonna put some mega scan textures into this custom to so material layer I you know do that I can open my uh, material instance again uh, this one all right and then I'm gonna search for custom 2 so I can put some material over here and control space I can get this content browser go to surface here we have the real gravel texture that I imported from mega scans so I can simply use that I'm gonna select all these slots so I can update them right and then I'm gonna put the diffuse map here normal map over here roughness map over here and displacement map over here right I'm gonna save this still uh, textures are stretching you can see like this so now I'm gonna fix it uh, qu quite easily so here we have something called use planar mapping for custom 2 I'm gonna hit this checkbox right and then you can see everything is fixed now and now we have yeah now we have this right uh, now everything looks pretty nice and then uh, I can uh, do some uh, tiling as well here we have the near and far tiling so these numbers I can change these numbers and try to uh, yeah reduce the tiling I'm gonna put 500 over here okay yeah we have yeah little rocks and then uh, put maybe thousand at the far all right okay and looks good and then I'm gonna go to my normal lit mode yeah then everything looks yeah very interesting all right that's it for today I'm keeping uh, on the voxel integration with open land here I'm trying to add the this support for this mega scan text selector this is a really interesting tool I hope uh, I could get it work in uh, yeah, in a couple of weeks. All right, uh, see you soon uh, with something interesting. Bye.